Ephesians 314 The Prayer of Paul for the Ephesians. Because of this I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom all the family in the heavens and the earth takes the name, that he may grant you, according to the riches of his glory, that ye might be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, in order that, being rooted and grounded in love, you can perfectly understand, with all the saints, what is the breadth, and the length, and the height, and the depth, and to know the love of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, that ye may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, to the glory in the church, through a Jesus Christ, in all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Ephesians 3, 14-21 Epistle of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 14-21 to Dear brothers and sisters, we are studying the Epistle of Paul to the Ephesians in chapter 3 of verse 14-21. to Paul was praying for the Ephesians, asking God to grant the power of the Holy Spirit to the inner man. That Christ may dwell in the faith in your hearts, in order to be rooted and deep in love. May you perfectly understand together with all the saints, what is the breadth, the length, the height, and the depth of Christ's love. For the love of Christ surpasses all understanding, so that you may be filled with the knowledge of God. For those who are powerful to do everything, with abundance always performing beyond what we ask, or think, as the power that in us it works. To God be given all glory in the church, by Jesus Christ in all generations. Dear brethren, Paul was praying for the Ephesians, and wishing that they would have within their hearts all knowledge of our God, that our God would dwell within them. Through faith in the Holy Spirit, so that they through faith in the Holy Spirit, could execute the power of God that was within them. And to know the love of Christ, in all its dimension, width, height, depth. That they might have a notion of the greatness of the love of Christ, and of the power of the Lord Jesus, which was within them, through the Holy Spirit. In verse 20 he declares that God, being mighty to do all things, will always do more than we ask, or think to ask, and use the power that is within us. Which who operates this power is the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of the Lord Jesus. So brothers, we have all the power of the Lord Jesus within us. And we can use it any time according to our needs.